Welcome, I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I am going to do your Tarot Tuesday reading, Spirit, Show Me a Sign. This is a general collective reading with messages for anyone who may need them. You can apply the messages to whatever situation you may be experiencing in your life at this time. Um, so hopefully um, you'll be able to you know, get some answers to the questions that you seek. I ask that you keep an open mind. Remember, it's a general reading, so not all of the messages that I'm channeling will be for everybody who's watching. So let's see what's going on. Tarot Tuesday, Spirit, show me a sign. Don't forget, I am available for personal readings. And if you're also interested in any of my spiritual products, my oracle deck, whatever, send me an email and I'll give you the information. All right, so we're going to pull an overall energy message first. Spirit, what do we need to know most? Spirit, show me a sign. Okay, overall energy, we've got earth. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense. So, you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with someone with a lot of earth in their chart as well. Um, but Spirit is asking you to take a practical, down-to-earth, common-sense approach to whatever issue that you're trying to work through at this time. Um, and then you've got the green men. The forces of nature favor you. More earth energy here. Things will go your way. Um... You know, it's great when we can tap into our intuition and utilize spiritual and esoteric knowledge, but sometimes you need to use your brain, your common sense, your education, whatever, to figure things out. All right. What else do we need to know at this time? But things will work out the way you expect because the forces of nature are favoring you at this time. All right, you've got the Seven of Pentacles here, Earth Energy, Ace of Swords. King of Cups, it's our buddy Al, alcoholic, buddy wiser, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, this might have to do with love for some of you. And then the Page of Pentacles. So this is definitely balancing the head, being logical, but there's some people here who are in nerve they are in nerve it's the king and queen of cups this is a meant to be couple 
this connection makes sense. Um, you guys are a perfect fit if you're picking up on this energy. Um, water sign energy is very emotional, loving energy. These two are the king and queen of love. Um, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Cups typically is Cancer. Um, king of Cups, um, usually Scorpio, but can also be Pisces or Cancer as well. Um, these two make sense. Uh, I'm hearing uh, great minds think alike. This has been a matter of time. There's like some, some timing wasn't right for this connection here. Uh, I am rubbing my head because I literally have a headache right now. Um, somebody's overthinking something, and that's probably why they have a headache. Um, there's some sort of solid practical offer. It may not seem like very much um, on the surface, but it can grow into something long-term, stable, and committed. And I feel like somebody wants to give it some time. Um, now, if something may have taken seven years to progress, um, maybe, you know, somebody finally is going to open up and communicate. There's an opportunity here for some clear communication, being practical. Someone may, someone might normally be someone who approaches love and relationships from the heart. But now they've learned to be more common sense, down to earth with their expectations, maybe with the way that they approach you or the way that you're approaching them. Um, this person may want to invite you out on a date. They may want to come see you. Uh, there's some sort of solid offer or a gift. Um, we're coming up into cancer season soon, later this month. Um, so some of you may have birthdays. Someone may give you a birthday gift uh, or take you out for your birthday. Um, I'm hearing this has been a long time coming. Um, there's some sort of a, a proposal here. Someone finally sees, someone's coming in, they wanna speak the truth. Uh, they want to communicate the way the two of you relate to each other is very practical um, King of Cups does not openly express his feelings or emotions but he gets in his feelings but he doesn't express it well um, he is not mushy-gushy. He is not the type that's going to write you, you know, a 20-page sonnet. Um, he may give you, express his love in more practical or material terms. He may, you know, be the type that would give you a gift. Um, you know, very practical person, but he's got a lot of love to give. These two are in love. King and Queen of Cups. She's got a lot of love to give. She is open, receptive to love. She openly expresses her love and she gives her love. Very loving and nurturing energy. Let's clarify a couple of the cards here. Tell me about Earth. the four of swords yeah somebody is keeping their plans a secret right now they're regrouping they're coming up with some sort of a plan strategy um you know just kind of keeping things to themselves and possibly healing from some grief loss disappointment heartbreak um 
So I feel like somebody's, they want to express something, they want to communicate, but they're waiting for the right time to say something. And I feel like they're waiting for the right time to offer love, ask you out, take you out, give you a gift, or they know the time is near. They're just trying to put... They, this person might be a bit of a perfectionist. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Got the King of Wands. See, somebody's got their plan. It's time to take action now. King of Wands is someone who is very good looking, entrepreneurial. This person um, could be um, a boss, entrepreneur, CEO. Fiery, passionate, might be a little bit reckless. He, I call him my old school player. He used to be the Knight of Wands. He used to be a Carlos Spicy Wiener. Um, he's still passionate, but he is mature now. But he is going to get up off of his dead ass and take action. I'm hearing that's, that's enough of this uh, dilly-dallying here. I'm hearing, uh, you know, piss or get off the pot. Um... Yeah, it's time for someone to take action here. <laughs> All right, tell me about this Ace of Swords. There's like a, begin a new beginning of communication or an opportunity here or a gift of something, realization and truth communication about a decision that's being made that could take this connection in another direction. Someone's at the crossroads of communicating something here. I feel like somebody's mind is made up and they've already taken those first steps. All right. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. The High Priestess. She is Pisces Cancer Energy. She is the goddess. She is the goddess Diana Persephone, goddess of the hunt. Um, she is Mother, Maiden, and Crone. This is a very spiritual, educated, feminine energy. She holds the secrets to forbidden knowledge. She has one foot on earth and one foot in the spirit realm. She knows when to speak and she knows when to remain silent. She Somebody's keeping secrets about an offer. Um, but the page is also a graduate. This is someone who may be learning more about the esoteric, their spirituality, their intuition. Um... It's almost student teacher. My cat is trying to jump up on the table to get in the window. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to see Nikita's furry butt, but uh, she loves to be be around when I'm doing readings. Um, so someone's keeping a secret. I feel like somebody secretly wants to offer, make an offer here, a proposal. Um, someone, the high priestess is someone who's very single. Now, sometimes in a man's love reading, she can represent a woman that he feels he doesn't deserve. Um, I'm hearing you're out of my league. Queen of Cups, High Priestess, is, is similar energy here. This King of Cups, you might, if, you're, if you're relating with the High Priestess, Queen of Cups, you're teaching this King of Cups some spiritual lessons right now. She knows there's an offer coming. She feels it in her gut. She knows. It's, it's been a long time coming. It's a matter of time. 
She's highly skilled, highly knowledgeable. There could be a boss looking at you for a promotion or another company looking to snatch you up. Someone could be secretly looking for a job while they already have a job as well. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles. Temperance. This is like the Seven of Pentacles energy. It's about being patient. You know, and it's like you're being, things are coming together. Things, you're working with the energies on the other side. Okay, your gut is telling you that spirit has something really good in store for you. This is integration, um, coming together. It's healing. It's Archangel Michael. It's, you know, co-creating with the universe. It's about being patient. It's about experimentation. Okay, if you're a... a, a tarot reader, psychic medium like myself, uh, maybe you've got a platform out here. Uh, there's a lot of up and coming, uh, very green uh, readers out here who might be watching, watching you, watching what you do, learning from you as well. And that's all clarified with the Eight of Wands. Things are all of a sudden gonna take off quickly. You know, it's like you've been waiting patiently and it's like, you know, it's just a matter of time and all of a sudden somebody might be caught off guard that things are going to progress faster than they had expected. Someone, you know, maybe when, maybe before they've learned not to rush into anything, they've learned not to rush into relationships, but it's, it's been long, long enough now for this couple. These are mature, grown-ass people when we've got uh, kings and queens. You know, pages are, are is very youthful, young, childlike energy. It's immature energy. Okay? I feel like someone, one of you wants to move quickly with this connection, the other one wants to take it slow. But if you're mature, you just don't have time to be taking things slow, especially if you already know this person. This is an established connection here. There's no reason why you need to be wasting any more time. And I feel, you know, if this is the King of Cups who's kind of poking around on the fence, you know, this Queen of Cups isn't going to wait much longer. He knows he needs to get a move on here. He needs to follow his heart and take action. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with more than one person or someone with the energy of earth, fire, and water. Um, he's ready to commit. He is the ideal husband, the father. He's King Midas. He's got one last stuff to give, and he is very careful where he invests his time, energy, and resources. But typically, he is ready for commitment, and he is very practical. And he's financially stable and emotionally stable. Wow, wow, wow. We got a very, very single feminine energy here who is ready to commit and she is not going to be wasting much more time. She has been more than patient with the situation and dude, dude or dudes need to make their move. They need to make their move soon. It's time. They've been waiting long enough here. This King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Wands, they know, they know who they want. They know what they want. Let's 
get an advice message and then we'll get some love messages on this. Tranquility. So someone could be again healing, they're just enjoying their peace, spending time in prayer and meditation. Hi Nikita. I'm gonna sit down and be good. I'll sit here. You say hi to everyone. Say, Mama, you've been working all day. I want you to, to pet me. She wants attention. All right. So there's tranquility here. This is about peace. Um, if the weather's beautiful, maybe you should go sit outside on your porch or steps or balcony tonight. Enjoy the summer breezes. But just enjoy this peaceful time. There's, there could be tranquility between this couple here, these people, the King and Queen of Cups. Let's get some love messages on this. What? Love you too. I love you too, Nikita. Mama's busy. Mama's busy. I already fed you. Already fed. I already fed you. I gave you food. First love message, confidence. Someone is getting their confidence up here. He is like this king of wands and he is gorgeous. Hello there, I'm Mr. Darcy. Yes, Mr. Darcy is getting his confidence up or maybe this queen of cups uh, helps build the king of cups' confidence. Okay, she's very wise, mature, loving, intuitive. And then you've got rendezvous. Again, someone may want be wanting to get together with you, come see you, take you out. They're getting their courage up to ask you out. A little weekend getaway would be nice. Attention. They know you get a lot of attention because you're gorgeous, darling. Simply marvelous. <laughs> Or they may, they may reach out to you because they want your attention, your affection. This is a good looking, loving couple. Okay, when they walk into a room, people just feel your connection. You guys turn heads, you're an attractive couple. On the bottom of the deck is message. Okay, so again, message. I feel like you're going to hear from this person. They're maybe getting their courage up to ask you out or maybe take this connection a little bit further, go to the next level, um, maybe ask you to travel with them. Maybe they want to come see you or they might invite you to come see them, but there's some sort of a message here. She's dressed in pink and there's blue, a lot of blue in this picture. Pink is the color of love, romance. Blue is a very healing color. She's got flowers, there's trees. So this could have to do with the present moment of late spring into summer. That's my RoboVac. <laughs> so I'm hearing charge. <laughs> All right, they are gonna come running in. I don't know, this is interesting. You guys have to let me know down in the comments section, what is up with this reading for you? Like, what are you, what are you guys uh, connecting with here? So until I see you again, Nikita and I wish you love and peace and be the love, be the light, take care. Bye-bye for now.